speak to Ljubljana. We are very happy to be in Ljubljana, very happy to be here. And those who are participating from Ljubljana, I presume, back of friends, you are Christoph, Pip, ah, okay. and so yeah. um, um, Before I start to say what I have to say, um, it's important to know how we will go on. And um, after my little speech or presentation, we will uh, split up in three different groups. And uh, these groups are going to meet on floor M, in room F, E and G. And in room F, I suggest that the first group um, gathers, consisting of those who are introducing. We have done it in the following way. We bring some stuff, as nomads usually do, to the oasis. And we will present some cases. Each group will have one presentation. And then, in order to get the discussion and the exchange started, you know, how you do it here, how you think about that, what you want to know more on. So the F uh, room will work on the culture workshop. And the culture workshop is a case in Gothenburg uh, run by David Carlson from Sweden, Gothenburg, who is equally the secretary of the National Commission for a New Cultural Policy in Sweden. So happens he just was appointed almost on. David and Bengt Christensen Ogla, the rector of the Europe University, are going to present and sort of start the keynote, so to speak, in the F group. In the E room, <coughs> I have a little voice problem here, E room. Um, we have the honor of having two hosts. Uh, one is Mark Markovsky, sitting up there from Germany. Uh, and Mark is uh, the editor of a book that is named Ökonomenta, which is a little ironical twist of something that Achim Vorreiter, who is the second host, um, has been busy with very much, that is Documenta. We had, our last oasis was in Kassel in Germany, and we were hosted by Achim, and uh, these guys are going to tell you what you want to know about either Ökonomenta or Documenta, Mark and Achim. In the G room, I will sit in with Christiana, where are you? And um, um, I, uh, we'll ask Christiana uh, to tell us a little about Città dell'Arte, which is a foundation, a uh, place. It was yesterday presented by Michelangelo Pistoletto, who is the founder of that place, which has many, many facets. And we will speak perhaps of some selected projects. What does Città dell'Arte do in connection with local uh, management, local businesses, and, uh, and so on? Okay. So I just put it on the table because our rector said one has to do it that way. So we do that. Is that a big leg? 
She has to sort of pay. Listen to him, just boast and brag. You give him care, attention of him. Claim that's him, that you adore. But deep inside his shell, but up by fires of hell. You find a high school business school. in the palaces <clears throat> of the economy of the great. And we admire how everything is adapted to promote their ease, to prevent their wants, to gratify their wishes, and to amuse and entertain their most frivolous desires. The same principle, the same love of system, the same regard to beauty of order, of art and contrivance, frequently serves to recommend those institutions which tend to promote public welfare, etc., etc., etc. This is a text. This is a text with which I will start uh, my little talk. It's a text that is written in the mid of the 18th century by someone who is rather frequently quoted in the world of management and especially in the world of economics. It is a text by Adam Smith. And um, what you see in this text by Adam Smith, which, by the way, is from his most well-known work during the 18th century, the book is called The Theory of Moral Sentiments. <clears throat> 